Before the installation of the main bearing is started, the shaft journal must have been checked for any damage and cleaned. When the upper bearing shell is mounted, the running face must be lubricated with clean engine lube oil. The back side of the bearing shell must be clean and dry. Position the upper bearing shell in longitudinal direction of the engine using a positioning lip local to the lube oil duct. Make sure that the numbers of the bearing point towards the driving end of the engine. Try to push the bearing shell as far as possible by hand. Now the bearing shell can be turned in place using the turning plate. Use the manual device of the turning gear to divide the bearing on either side. Remove the turning plate and clean the main bearing cap well. Now place the lower bearing shell in the main bearing cap and make sure that the back side is clean and dry. Make sure that the bearing positioning lip falls into the main bearing cap recess. The lower bearing can then be fitted in one position only. Equalize the bearing joint faces with the joint faces of the main bearing cap and apply a layer of clean engine oil to the running face of the lower shell. Exchange the connections on the telescopic jack so that the main bearing cap can be jacked up. Now the oil delivery hose is linked to the up connection and the oil return hose to the down connection. Now lift the bearing block using the special hand pump. This pump has an internal protection device limiting the pump pressure to 150 bar to protect the telescopic jack. When the bearing block is pressed against the joint faces, the nuts can be fitted. Hand tighten the nuts using the special pin. After the nuts have been fitted, the telescopic jack can be disconnected from the hand pump. Place new O-rings on both side studs and lubricate the O-rings with the prescribed grease. Now screw both studs into the bearing cap. Now slack off the stud a quarter of a turn. First provide the stud with a nut on engine exhaust side only because this stud is pre-tensioned first. This is done to align the bore of the main bearing. Mount the jack on exhaust side. Connect the jack to the pump and check that the jack is in bottom position. Pressurize the jack to 200 bar and tighten the nut. Now the main bearing cap studs can be tightened. To do so, provide the jacks as explained earlier for the disassembly procedure. During assembly, the jack need not be turned back. It can be connected directly to the pump. Now the jacks can be pressurized as required. Count the number of holes when turning the nuts. The number of turns must be approximately the same for all nuts. Now depressurize. Retighten the jacks again and try to turn the nut further.
Finally, check for a third time to make sure the nuts do not turn any further. Now remove the complete set of hydraulic tools from the crankcase. To prevent stress in the exhaust side stud, it must first be loosened. After the stud has been loosened, the exhaust side stud can be pressurized as required and the nut can be tightened. When this is done three times, then the stud at operating side can be tightened as well. The complete hydraulic tightening procedure is shown at operating side. Next, pressurize the stud at operating side as required and tighten the nut. Allow the pressure to drop. Then re-tighten the jack as far as possible. Now fully pressurize the jack once again and re-tighten the screw as far as possible. After the pressure is dropped, it can be raised again immediately. When the jack is pressurized for the third time, the nut is not allowed to turn any further. Finally, mount the thermocouple and check the bearing clearance. And make sure no loose items are left behind in the engine. 